figure out ways that I could sort of recreate some of these swimsuits that I have been seeing online in cheaper ways. So I definitely did that and I'm so excited. I love the way that they turned out and I'm super happy to show you guys how they turned out. So yeah, if you're interested, then So I actually lost some of the footage that I had of cutting the strips and kind of like how to do that. So I decided I would just refilm it right here differently and the lighting for the next few frames after this are pretty bad so I apologize. The coloring is like really off but that's okay. So it gets better I promise so just bear with me. But for the cutting you're just going to want to cut your strips of your t-shirt into about like half an inch strips, I just the entire way across going like this because you're gonna want like rings because then you're gonna cut them as you'll see later. So you're gonna cut about half an inch. I cut my strips about this width. So you're going to cut eight of those strips and then you're going to pull all those strips at the edges to kind of roll under the edges and make it look more like a rope and you don't have frayed edges on it. And then you're going to cut each of those eight strips in half so then you will have 16 strips in total. And then you're going to double up those strips and tie them in a knot so you end up with eight double strips that have a knot about one to two inches up from the end. So the next thing I did didn't get filmed, but I just cut the top string off of the triangle and folded it under and glued it with fabric glue. And then now I'm just laying out the four strips that I'm using for this first triangle and kind of just laying them out evenly so I know where I want them. And then I'm going back in with some fabric hot glue. I'm just putting a little dot down and placing it over just so I can make sure they're exactly where I want them. And then after I did that for all four, I went over the top of that with a little bit more glue so it was really secure and I knew that it wouldn't fall off when I put it on. So with your glue, make sure that on the package your hot glue says that it bonds to fabric because if it doesn't, then you might have troubles and it won't hold when you go in the water. Okay, so once your glue has dried and your strips are really secure, you're going to start making the knots for the fishnet. So first you're going to start by pulling away the first string and then the other strings and taking the second and third string and tying them together in a knot. And then you're kind of going to repeat this process by then taking the fourth and fifth strip and tying them together in a knot and then the fifth or in the 6th and 7th strip, tying in the knot and leaving the 8th strip out of that. So now we're going to repeat this entire process of tying the knots but starting this time with the first and second strip, and then going to the third and fourth strip, then the fifth and sixth, and the seventh and eighth. So you have knots across the entire row. So now you're going to end up with three rows of knots. So you're going to repeat those two steps again. So you'll end up with five rows of knots. And it should look something like this and then add the two more rows and you will have your completed fishnet swimsuit. So for this swimsuit, the only thing you're gonna need is some nylon micro spandex, which is just kind of swimsuit material. So just get that in whatever color swimsuit you have and then you're just going to need fabric scissors and a safety pin. So first I'm cutting out two strips 
I just measured these strips so they could fit across my body when I stretch them out. They really don't have to be too long, just kind of the length of the normal bikini string that is already on yours. And then you're going to stretch them like we did with the white fabric and so that the ends well under and it kind of looks like a string that would normally be on a bikini. So then you're just going to take your triangles off of the bottom string and then you're going to grab your safety pin and you're going to take the right side of the bikini string and safety pin the right side of one of your strings that you just cut and you're going to then thread that through the right bikini, your right triangle for your bikini. And you're going to start that through the left side and finishing it on the right side so that your string that you just cut is going to be hanging down in the middle of the suit. So then you're going to repeat that step by taking the left side of the regular bikini string, safety pinning it to your other string that you cut and threading it to your left bikini triangle through the right side to ending in the left. So both of those strings, it'll look like this, are hanging down the middle of the bikini. So yeah, this one's really easy. I think that it turns out really cute and adds a little bit of detailing to a boring old triangle bikini.